Hi everyone, how are you doing? Um, welcome back. Do you notice the sweater? Yes, it's the same sweater. So yes, it's the same day. Um, here I am again to bug you coming into your living room. Um, did you notice the dog in the background? Yes, um, my friend's dog Ellie was here and that was the collar shaking. How observant are you? And did you hear my friend Gina say good job? Yeah, that was her too. So anyway, I'm here alone now this time, but uh, just me. And I hated the way my face looked at that photo, but I'm not going to be able to fix it. So you just are stuck with it. You're kind of stuck with me. So here we go. So first week, here we're at on the first week, and we're getting to watch one of my favorite, all-time favorite movies. We're watching the first Terminator, um, you know, with Arnold and um, Michael Bean as Kyle Reese and... It's probably one of my all-time favorite movies. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm not going to try to give away everything, um, but I wanted to talk a little bit about some things you should be thinking about as you're watching and um, starting you to consider that micro-theme essay that's going to be due on Sunday about this paper and give you a little bit more information about it. So while you're watching the movie, and one of the reasons why I picked this movie is because I think there's some really interesting things to... Um, poke around with when it comes to this film. First of all, there's the idea of the technology within the film. And when you look at the first Terminator, there is a lot of really interesting material to play with. Um, you've got Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's, you know, half human, half, you know, something else, I guess, a cyborg, and um, capable of things that humans aren't, and uh, he comes into our world and that is a very different place because he's from the future. And so there's all these themes that are emerging at the very beginning of this um, movie about, you know, what do we know now versus what do we know in the future? And how does that play out for characters like Linda Hamilton, right, who's totally freaked out because she's seen things that just don't exist right now, right? And then we have the same problem for, you know, um, Kyle Reese, who's coming into this area and, he, and this time that is so contrary and different from the time that he's in. And so there's all of these really interesting questions that start to come up about time and technology and, and what we know and um, how those ideas are connected. So that's one thing that you could start to consider when thinking about things you want to write about for this micro theme essay. The other thing I think that's really interesting, and if you looked at the syllabus, you probably noticed that we're going to watch all these Terminators. And I did that on purpose because I think there's a really intriguing um, idea that we can start to kind of play around with. Um, first of all, there's a lot of um, time in between the first um, movie to the last movie. Well, and there's actually a new one coming out this year that's not on the syllabus, but to the 2014 movie. And so actually what's really interesting is that our technology and our understanding of technology has changed in that amount of time. Um, so I think it's going to be really interesting to look at it from that perspective of, hey, this is what we thought would be happening in 1982. Yikes. Um, but really, this is what's happening. And maybe some things that we thought might be happening that aren't. So I think that's a really interesting concept to deal with. I also think another interesting idea to think about is the films themselves and how they are a representation of the technology that was available at the time. I mean, we're going to look at uh, movies later on graphically that are completely different from the first Terminator and how that Terminator changed and shifts um, as technology within our own society shifts and changes. So I think those are some really interesting things to start thinking about as you're watching, um, thinking about the characters and how they're managing the different technology, thinking about how um, we expected in, in the early 80s technology would shift um, in the 2000s and has it, hasn't it, where, where are we at in, um, in the mind of the fiction creator. I think those are some really interesting concepts that we can consider. All right, I'm waxing on about this because I think it's really cool and I really like the movie and it's really fun. We'll talk more about it later, but let's talk about the micro-theme essay for a second. One thing I do want to clarify with the micro-theme essay is that I'm not looking for a plot summary. So I'm not expecting you kind of just to give me the, you know, 
you know, down a dirty plot. Um, that's really not complex enough and it, it really won't help us how we're looking at these movies. Um, so I'm looking for you to do something a little bit deeper. Again, look at technology, how they're dealing with technology. Um, thinking about um, uh, AI, right? Different things that were uh, possible or imagined and where we're at today. Those are areas that I'm looking at and I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on. Again, not necessarily just giving me a plot. I mean, you've probably watched the movie before. I would imagine it's kind of a cult classic at this point. Um, so I'm, I don't need to know that you'd read, you'd watched it or that you know the plot. I'm looking for you to start to think about these deeper ideas about um, how technology is being represented in, in this um, movie. So that's one thing. No plot summary is looking for something a little bit deeper. Um, hopefully some people will do some blog postings and start talking about some of these ideas and it'll start to get your brain thinking about um, some issues and hopefully this video log might have um, spurned some actual thoughts or ideas about it. So again, one to two pages, MLA format, um, kind of a stickler for uh, citing material. I am an English teacher. I don't know if you caught that or not. Um, so I am looking for some good work, right? But I will let you know too that I'm expecting these papers will get better as the semester goes on and you get to know a little bit more what I'm looking for and I give you some feedback. Okay, that's it for the week. We made it through. Can you believe it? End of first week or getting to the end of the first week. And we'll be back next week to move on to our next piece of material. And um, I will probably have another video in a day or two to let you know where we're at. Okay, you guys, um, great to have you in class. Hope everything's going well. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.